Hey everybody, what's up? Today I want to talk to you about installing a very cheap and easy damping system on your baby grand piano that you may have standing at home. Now, uh, you know, I live in an apartment, so I have neighbors right up there and over there, and these things are loud. Right, so that can disturb people and of course it penetrates through the house, which isn't great. So I needed to come up with a way to dampen this. Now I know some people, they decouple the piano from the floor, uh, or they put sound deadening underneath, rugs and things, or they stuff blankets here in the top. Uh, that all works quite well, but it doesn't look very nice because, you know, this is still standing here in my room and I want it to look nice. So I needed something else. So most upright pianos, they have a third pedal in the middle. That's actually your uh, sound deadening or mute pedal. So when you depress that pedal, it lowers a, a rail with a felt between the hammers and the strings, and that dampens the sound. Now on an upright, you can emulate that pretty easily by dropping something between the strings and the hammers just from the top. With a grand piano, that's not so easy as it is standing horizontally. But you can still achieve the same effect. Uh, you can either go out and buy mute rails, which you have to fit, and you can manually slide them. So they would come in sort of in between here, and then you can slide them up and down, and that works. But um, I'm feeling lazy. I don't want to install anything like that. So I'm going to resort to this. So what do we have here? Actually, we have a pen and we have a, well, a music book, but that's actually just because I need a straight line to draw and a scissor, and I have here a little microfiber towel. You can actually use any material you like. It doesn't have to be a microfiber towel. It could be a normal towel, a tea cloth, whatever you have available. So we have four sections here in the grand piano, so we'll need uh, four pieces of cloth or felt. So they have to go right in between here, so you may want to measure that out. So one, two, three, and four. And then we take our cloth, and I'll just make some arbitrary lines here. One, two, three, and four. Ah, uh, that's not quite equal, so I'll put one there, sort of there, and there. Okay. It doesn't have to be very precise, as long as you kind of split that equal-ish, you're okay. And then I'm going to draw a line across. So you just take your book, and you line it out like this. So I've already done that. So then I have my four lines and I can get to cutting along these lines and making four equal strips. I'll need two hands for that, so I won't do that live on video. And there we go, we have four nice cloth strips. Now let's get these installed into the piano. To make our life a little bit easier, we're gonna, of course, have the piano open so I can access this and remove the sheet holder here so we can access that. You don't have to remove it fully, just push it forward so you can expose this bit on the hammers. Now, the idea is very simple. Uh, this piece of cloth needs to make contact between the hammers and the strings, so it dampens it. So you can sort of thread it through here. Yeah? So what you do, you, you go through with the weaving pattern so it stays in place. So as an example, if I put it through here, you might want to... There, get that through. And as this is a bit fiddly, so here I would pull it back up again. Yeah. Now I need something thin to push that back up, but let's say I would take my scissor here as an example. I can just pull this back through. There you go. And that's the first one. And you do this and repeat this all the way through. But just to give you an example, so here's... Uh, I've got to find the key. Which one is this even? So we can see. Let me just put the hammer back. Not that one. Not that one, that one. You can see there's a significant difference in the noise level already. So let me just kind of repeat this all the way through and I'll show you the results. And here, by the way, you have the dampers on top. Uh, so this is a bit more fiddly. You need to kind of uh, do that maybe up here, right? And then you can push it under the dampers which makes your life easier. So you don't need to remove the dampers at all. I know some videos uh, tell you to do that. Um, I don't feel like doing it, so I will thread that here and then push it onto the dampers as I go. So I'll show you that as well, probably. Actually, if you have a little tweezer around, 
that makes your job a lot easier pulling the cloth through the strings. Um, and one thing I wanted to show you, by the way, you can't, of course, loop it over the uh, entire string section because then you skip a note. So you have to loop it through the first section of three and then dampen underneath and this will dampen from the top, right? And then uh, you will follow through on this pattern. All right, and that's the first one done. Uh, the cloth is a bit too long here, but um, instead of cutting it off, you can just layer it across the top, like so. There you go. And that looks all really nice. And the beautiful thing is, if you don't want this anymore, you can just pull it out and the dampening system has been removed. Uh, this took about, I don't know, what is it, five to ten minutes for one section to do. It's a little bit fiddly, but, you know, it's not impossible. So now I'm going to complete that for the next section. So I ran into a few uh, technical challenges, actually. So the next sections, I uh, changed tack and actually simplified this. Um, so over here in the high section, this works quite well because, you know, these have no natural dampers there and uh, running over the top, it kind of works like a minor damper and it, you know, helps to damp volume, dampen the sound. So threading it across like this works quite well and it keeps it in place very nicely. However, on the next sections, as you have dampers that come up and down, if, for instance, you're running the cloth in between the string like this, the damper sits on top. So actually it has very, very little effect and sometimes it actually doesn't sit on there straight either. So then the damper doesn't do its job properly. So to circumvent that, what you can actually do, you take the cloth and you just, you know, pull it through all the way here below the hammers. Um, and because then the cloth falls down, you, what you can simply do is take a piece of tape, just whatever regular tape you have, and stick it here to the sides. One there and one there. So I've done the same thing here. One there, one there. And uh, here I kind of ran out of cloth, so I need to cut a bigger piece. But uh, I will be doing exactly the same. And as you can see, that, that stringing here, like in the high section, does not work well because the bass strings only have two and then one. So here you can see that example of the damper where it doesn't sit properly, right? That doesn't work very well. So there we go. I actually managed to solve this section by using just a longer piece of tape so that cloth fits neatly underneath and you can see the hammers there making contact with it and it is dampened. So to dampen it further, of course, you can close the lid, put a blanket in here, put a thick rug underneath and then you're probably ready to have a apartment volume style grand piano at home. And this is easy enough to remove. Just take the tape off, pull the cloth out and the damper is gone. So Let's give this a shot and see what it looks like. All right, so you can see the dampers are installed and I'm gonna just play a quick piece just to see how this sounds. Fantastic, this works. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel. I normally do car stuff, so very occasionally I fix other things or try to come up with creative ways of making something for cheap. So I hope this was helpful for you and showed you how to very easily create a damper system for your baby grand piano at home. Thank you and goodbye.